Okay, so in order to start your family tree, you're going to click on New Pedigree. Name your pedigree with your last name. Family Tree. Click on Create Pedigree. You can move this box by dragging it <clears throat> once you get started. Um, to add anything, you click on the box. You can either left mouse click, which brings up this, or you can right mouse click. You can also um, change the layout. I'll show you that in a little bit. So say I wanted to add a parent. Or if you wanted, if, if you're a girl, you can have clicked on this right mouse click. Add sister, and it'll bring up your parents when you do that. So let's say it's you and then a brother. Um, siblings are listed in order, so this would be the oldest. This would be the second oldest. Uh, if you add another sister, that would be the third um, sibling. <clears throat> and if you want to add your mom's grandparents, those are your maternal grandparents. You would click on add parents, or you can do that um, by left mouse clicking and that brings on the parents. To go up to them, just scroll the left mouse click and pull down or up. So if you want to add your dad parents, you could click on this. And let's say your dad has a brother. Notice that this line denotes siblings as opposed to a line between them denotes that they're married. Okay. Now to put the names in, right mouse click and then you go over to the blue tab and it'll bring it up I just lost that so this would be me um, you can put notes you can put the birthday if you'd like you can put the last name if you would like have to and then you could just go through them and click on their names to close the identifying. Just hit that blue tab. Okay. And then to close it, you're going to hit close. And it'll come up in your recently viewed as well as my pedigrees if you wanted to click on them. <clears throat> you can also get it from here. So if I open this, I can edit it. So that's all you're going to do. And then um, <clears throat> once you're ready to save it for Google Classroom, you go to the sharing. There's a print button right next to it. You have to save it as a PNG because you're going to put this into a, a Google Draw. Um, this does not matter. And then you are going to hit large print and it will download as a PNG. And then you can save that to your Google Drive. It won't open um, unless you have Adobe, but you can still save it to your drive. And then once you, um, I'll show you again how to put this into, how to put that into the Google Drive, but I'll show you that next week. 